Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Football 10 box blaster edition, random team break number three. So there's a couple things that are happening here. Everyone gets a random team in the NFL, no vet common ship. The randomizer for names and teams will be a separate dice roll from what we're about to do right now. One dice roll for two things. The early bird and then the four spots that were given away. So there's the whole list right there. The first 18 in green have a chance at the early bird, right? Um, then I'll copy all 27 names right here for the four giveaway spots right there. The early bird winner will not count for the uh, for these four spots right here. Just I know it didn't say that, but I just made that executive decision. I said it before I started the recording. Everyone seemed okay with that. All right, so early bird first. Those are the 18 for the early bird. And then let's grab the 27 for the four right there. All right, so let's roll it. Let's randomize it for both lists. Lucky seven times. One and a six. Let's do the early bird first. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. And it's CJ Monroe. The early bird catches the worm after seven times. There you are. Boom. So you get an extra spot. Nice. Congrats. Now, same dice roll. One and a six, seven times for the, the entire list of spots sold straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and final time. After seven, uh, oh, oh, so it's the top four that'll get spots. So from five down to 27, thanks for trying. We'll get them next time. Congrats to... CJ Monroe, again, Jack, David Kist, and Brenton Young. There you go, the top four right there. You are in after seven. These spots right here. So let's put rooftops next to your name. So no, you know those are the, the, the spots that you won just by joining the break. Now let's grab all of 32 names here. And let, here's a blank tab right there. And now let's randomize names and let's randomize the 32 NFL teams right here. And that's a new dice rule. And that'll be six and a four, 10 times. One, two, And 10th and final time. So after six and a four, 10 times, we got Allen down to Aaron. Six and a four, 10 times for the teams. One. And 10th and final time. After 10 times, we've got the Dallas Cowboys down to the New York Football Giants. Now, feel free to trade if you'd like, but remember, this is uh, 2019 edition. So Kyler Murray, etc. last year's draft class, not this year's draft class. Trade at your own risk. All right. Allen with the Cowboys, Brenton with the Jags, Brenton with the Texans, Chris with the Saints, David with the Titans, Chris with the Panthers, Rams, Bucks, Steven with the Raiders. Mike with the Chargers, Chris with the Chiefs, Bears, Eagles, Ravens, Broncos, Arn with the Steelers, Bengals, Jack with the Jets, Nick with the Browns, CJ with the Lions, David with the Dolphins, Corey with the Niners, Brenton with the Cardinals, Chris with the Patriots, Chad with the Colts, Anthony with the Falcons, Jack with the spot you won, Vikings, Washington for Christopher, CJ, your early bird team, Bills, Darren with the Packers, CJ with the Seahawks, and Arn with the New York Football Giants. I think Brett is a Brewers guy? Brewers or Cubs? All right. Aaron with the Giants, Bengals, and Steelers for Cardinals, Brenton, for your Kyler Murrays. All right. Now, I'm going to flip screens just for a second. On the top camera, the Nick Cam up there, we're going to pop this blaster case open. And we're going to see which 10 we're going to do.
empty box. I think there is, that's 10 right here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And that's 10 right here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We'll go um, 1, 2, 3 for the front, 4, 5, 6 for the back. That's right, Brewer, yeah. 1, 2, 3 for the front, 4, 5, 6 for the back. And it's going to be 6, it's going to be the back 10 right here. So we're going to bring these over here. And we'll save those for, for next time. In fact, should I mark them? So on, you can see on the top camera, I marked them with X's, so you know they're from the same case. Again, with these blaster cases, I don't think it really matters all that much, just because there's, I don't think there's no, there there aren't any like case hits, traditional case hits or anything like that. But um, Jets upper trade maybe. What's up, Jeremy? No. All right, maybe not. All right, TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. Yeah, I'm working a little bit later tonight, Tyler. It's just this and Gold Rush, not too bad. I can handle that. Especially since we don't have late night tonight. We'll have late night tomorrow, folks, with Sean Jaspi. All right, there you go. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Congrats again to the winners. And let's pop this open. Let's pop a few open at a time. Let's see what we got. Cam Newton back practicing with the Patriots. Activated from the COVID list. Yeah, for me, same schedule for me from what you remember. Gosh, I think earlier this year, last year, I think. Last time we saw you. Um, yeah, Tuesday through Saturday, 1 o'clock Pacific to 9 o'clock Pacific, although I'm going over a little bit today. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got a new guy, Sean Jaspi, who does some late night, late night for us um, a few nights a week. So he'll go on usually around now, and then he'll go till sometimes 3, 4, 5 in the morning, LA time. So usually, usually Tuesday, Wednesdays, sometimes Fridays, depending on the new release and the demand for the new releases and all that stuff. Eventually, we'll have someone do late night, seven nights a week, and I'll I'll still have the prime time hours. So some be someone with the late night hours. Maybe someday we'll have someone to do the morning and daytime hours. Get that daytime daytime crowd. I don't know how many people are in the daytime hours. But maybe there's some some retirees who are looking to have a little fun during the day with the hobby. There's Philip Lindsay. Kenny Stills. And we got Miles Boykin. Boy Premier. Boy Boykin. That goes to the Ravens. Chris Gerard with that one. There's Donta Hightower. Damian Harris. I think these are exclusive to this set. They have to be. Yeah, the laser parallels. That's Josh. I thought I saw someone else. Never mind. Tyler Higby, Kenyon Drake, and Noah Fant, Relic, rookie gear for Chris Gerard in Denver. Juju Smith-Schuster, Darnell Savage Jr.,
right, another two boxes. Nothing, nothing terribly exciting out of the, out of the first couple. Come on, Melvin Gordon. No, I'm going with a DUI. Don't do that. Calling Uber. Yeah. Not 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 looking good for the Dodgers, Brett. Sad times for them. At least my at least my Lakers brought a title home to LA. There's Harrison Butker. Geno Atkins. And Tony Pollard rookie gear for the boys. That's going to be for Alan Murdoch from the Cowboys. There you go, Alan. Michael Gallup. Mahomes. There's a Tony Pollard. Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs. That goes to Chris Gerard. Patrick Mahomes in that at least for the hobby in that territory where we got to, or even his base cards from non-rookie years could still do very well in a secondary market. Dan Marino Silver and Ryan Finley. Is he still on that team? Bengals? Ryan Finley for Cincinnati. Aaron. Yeah, I kind of... The, 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 my relationship with, with, with Dwight Howard has been interesting, right? Laker Nation, their relationship with Dwight Howard is very weird. Obviously, you wanted AD and LeBron to, I mean, I, I wanted to get ha, make sure they got chips. That's nice. But Dwight Howard is kind of an underrated story where, where everyone remembers he, he, went, he went from Orlando to the Lakers and then he was going to be in free agency, and the Lakers were wooing him, and it was going to be Dwight Howard and Kobe, and and blah 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 blah, and it just didn't work out. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe something with Dwight's attitude. Maybe he thought I don't know. All sorts of things. But over the years, Dwight Howard's definitely sort of realized that the window of his career is is is, is closing, and so. I think he kind of figured that out in the, like the last two year or two, and so when he came back to the Lakers, he was definitely like, "Yep, what do you want me to do? You want me to sign a weird contract where I don't get get, get anything guaranteed until later? Okay, done. You want me to come off the bench? Great. You want me to be a cheerleader on the bench? Fantastic. I'll do it. You know. You want me to? You want me to grind out the dirty minutes and get fouls and foul guys and get rebounds for like. 12 minutes a game? Sure. You know, so... So his attitude has been... has been excellent. Super mature, super... super self-aware now, and I, I... And I think part of him did think that he maybe had unfinished business in L.A. So I think that kind of motivated him, too. So I, I hope he gets... I don't know if the Raiders... Or Raiders. I don't know if the Lakers are going to re-sign him. But, uh... But hopefully he gets he gets a nice little short contract somewhere. Maybe he'll stay with the Lakers. That'd be great. Daryl Henderson, rookie gear relic for the Rams. That's going to be for Chris Gerard. But yeah, I was glad that he that that he got a chip after all these years in the league. Mark Andrews. Dexter Williams. And there's a lot, a lot of, I mean, cause the Lake, Lakers didn't have much money to spend, so I think they, they, they had to fill it with all these ring chasers, all these golems, and these journeymen and stuff. And nice couple Debo Samuels here, premiere for the for Corey. So I think it was nice that some of some of these old old guys got, you know, Javel McGee gets a, what his second chip now or something like that. Danny Green's got a couple towards the end of his career. Dwight got his first.
All right, there's Drew Locke. Nice. Rookie, non-silver, just base Drew Locke, but these are pretty solid. That goes to Denver. That's going to be for Chris Gerard. Debo Samuel's all right, too, right? Corey with the Niners. He's just got just to gotta be healthy. Sean Mercer, what's up? <laughs> well, poor guy got, like, I wasn't happy with it either. I was I think I was here watching the game. Um, but apparently the dude and his, like, his girl were getting, like, death threats and stuff like that. And I don't, I don't think he was too rattled by it, but, you know, but it was just, come on. It's not like it was game seven. Not that I condone death threats if he missed a shot in game seven. <laughs> a game winner in game seven. But, but yeah, I think people have to relax a little bit. Take a deep breath. But he had a, he had a good game the next game. He, he had like three or four, three or four three pointers. The next game, it was fine. And he's been a key part of a lot of a couple other championship teams. So I think he sleeps comfortably at night. there on this one folks see some other big names come on Geno Atkins Adrian Peterson he's still chugging Hordak Prescott and there's AJ Brown relic for the Titans David kissed because you're kissed your kissed is on my list because you're kissed your kissed is what I miss there's Tyree Jackson Rookie parallel, Luke Keekley. Goes on to Freeman. Let's move these prison cards over here. Oh, we got Dwayne Haskins. There's a rookie relic. Hopefully, he still has, still can evolve. Goff, Caden Smith, and two more to go. Let's get a Kyler Murray Silver. Something like that. Josh Jacobs, maybe? Well, Josh Jacobs Silver would be nice. Daniel Jones is in this draft class, too, right? Some Daniel Jones. Yeah, hats off, Tristan. Braves look good today. Don't screw it up in the World Series. Otherwise, I'll be pissed. And I was like, if if we lost the NLCS, and then they just they and if the Braves lay an egg in the World Series. I'll be very unhappy. You don't think commentators are giving the Braves respect? I think Braves got a lot of respect. People love Acuna Jr. I, I like him. There's Alexander Madison. His talk might go up. Yeah, DK parallels have gone up too. That's pretty crazy. Really? I don't know. You can't listen to those guys. But I, I feel like I feel like most of the baseball public acknowledges how good Acuna Jr. and how good Max Fried is, how good Ozzy Albies is. 
Yeah, I, I, I mean, I knew that. I know that going in. That's a dangerous team. Freddie Freeman's an MVP candidate. He might win the MVP. Hawk goes to CJ Monroe. Oh, they weren't on the Dodgers bandwagon for the, from the beginning? I, I kind of block out Joe Buck. Joe Buck baseball, I kind of block him out. I've trained my ears. I've trained my ears. He's uh, John Smoltz is okay, I think. There's Chris Gerard. National broadcasts are so terrible for baseball. Everything's so broad. And, you know, so they... they I mean, sometimes they have to, they got to kind of make it broad for an audience that haven't been following those teams super closely. But. No, learn how to block them out, Sean Mercer. I guarantee you. Listen, LA is a big market team. There's a lot more, a lot of people want. I mean, Atlanta's huge too, but Terry McLaurin for Chris. But I feel like a lot of, you know, they're, they're kind of playing to the, to the numbers. You know what I mean? You just got to block that out. You gotta block that out. Listen, a lot of hardcore Dodgers fans here, they know how dangerous those Braves are. And the Braves have shown it. Alright, folks, there you go. Ten box blaster, random team number three in the book. Second half will be in the store at some point. Nothing too crazy here. Uh, nothing too crazy here. You know, we got the we got the Stidham. We got the Drew the Stidham was pretty cool for the Patriots. That went to Chris Gerard. The Drew Lot but no Kyler Murray's, no Josh Jacobs, nothing too wild. So when you see the second half, get into it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks very much, everyone. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one.